Well, it seems I'm live. How's it going everyone? How's it going? RGL? Virus here, or Viuse, like it should be pronounced. But <laughs> I'm going to play Roar Games. Ultra game. Don't know if you know it. So we're going to use... Uh, we have three. these three options. These are the three teams. We're going to use Hot Flash since she is the fastest and the best for the for the speedrun, of course. So we're going three, two, one, go. Well, that was <laughs> that was not perfect. So uh, this game consists on, on three modes. You will see that I navigate in the screen I, like killing everyone in one hit. This is like the um, navigation mode or something like that. It's full of obstacles. And the beat em up mode. Here it's like almost every beat em up, but really watered down. I, I only have three kinds of attacks and they are all random. Oh. You will see that I'm using jump kicks. Those jump kicks are the best attack. The thing with the jump kicks is that enemies can duck and if they duck the jump kicks will be avoided completely and that I, I want to try to show you when it happens that's like a big time loss okay that was really good so yeah I don't know if you know uh, the show roller games well, if you know it, this game has nothing to do with it. <laughs> the story is that the, um, the three bad teams have um, kidnapped the president of the Roller Games organization or company or something. And we have to go and rescue him on skates, of course, because each other way. But this is what I mean, you see? She's docking and docking and docking. That was just for demonstration purposes. Right. So another thing to keep in mind, do you see in the right bottom right corner? There's that small meter. That means I can only have three special attacks per stage. So this is the third mode. It's an auto scroller. And I had promised that after I got the world record, which I can proudly say that I got a couple weeks ago, I would have to learn this blindfolded. I haven't done it yet, but I will. So keep that in mind. <laughs> so this is not, there's not much to say about this. Just have to to do exactly the same every time. A yeah, blindfold. So this is supposed to be the stage is called Night Highway. And you can see lots of hazards in the way. I am the law. Okay, so here comes the boss. The boss is an helicopter that will throw 64 grenades every time he throws his 64 grenades. So I had to put the character in a very specific location, just one pixel from the right, from the left, sorry. <laughs> that will make the helicopter throw 8 bombs per cycle. That's the maximum it can throw. It's not actually the maximum, you can move like in specific locations and make it throw lots lots of more grenades but this is the safest you just have to jump here on the grenades you, you can move to the bottom if you get bored or here that's the end of the stage okay, next stage is the automobile plant Here what we have to do is just 
navigate through this, try to not get hit by everything, any hit can cost you some time. Just precise movements. Alright. You can hear some good music here by Konami. I used to say that this was my favorite song in the game, but I can't decide now between this one and the last boss stage. So now we're using all our special attacks to quickly clear these guys. Was good. Okay, I just hope I don't die here. That can happen. It'll happen. Nice. So what we're doing now, if you've ever watched a Double Dragon speedrun, or any kind of run, you will recognize this. Double row. No! <laughs> what did I just do? Well, of course. Of course I had to. had to screw it. Anyways, I should have thrown that girl to the water. <laughs> okay, so... Next boss is the Guru Drew. I have no clue who that guy is. But here we have one, two. Oh, I didn't get it, of course. I get it every time, but on the marathon I didn't get it. You're supposed to stun lock that guy on the right. Didn't happen. Okay, and now 15 seconds <laughs> from the from the world record. Anyways, so what I did there is that that was just a thing I discovered by accident once. Because I used to, to mash start when the level started, and I accidentally paused the paused the level, and that resulted in a really weird behavior by the boss. The boss is like the like the helicopter boss. It's to, supposed to throw 64 objects. In this case, it's Barrels, 64 barrels full of Krogeritos. The thing is that if you pause by some frames, which Yogi discovered that it was between 5 and 6 frames, um, the boss will throw the barrels much faster. Okay, I have to jump here. to position ourselves in a really specific pixel that's this one and we can just relax here ladies and gentlemen don't do this at home or in any highway please don't do it so let's see what the truck wants from me. Come on, man. Go! Leave! Shoot! Can you leave the screen already? Um, in this case, sadly, I not only didn't save time, so I even lost time. But whatever, that's how random the game can be. <laughs> so this is the stage with the drums that Polly said before. The jungle river. And this can go really bad or really good. This is my where my expe expectations are right now. You will see a cave after this 
this section where there's a really tight jump that I tend to fail 50% of the time, I would say. It depends on the day. Ah. So, I would like to not die. I will try to not die, but it can happen. Alright. So what I didn't... Okay, let me try to focus here, then I will I will explain what I was going to explain. <laughs> okay. Bio building, yes. This is bio building, basically. Okay, here we go. Okay, got it. Oh, I'm happy. I'm so happy about that. Anyways, what I was saying, um, the attacks on the um, on the fighting scenes, the punch and kick attacks are one damage each. The jump kick attacks are four damage. Careful. And the special attack is eight damage. The thing is that sometimes she will grab the opponents, the enemies. Okay, this is... Ugh, skip! Okay, got it. And that's completely random. Like, you don't control when she grabs the opponents. Okay, let's try to throw this guy to the water. This guy takes one jump kick and three special attacks. This is one. I don't remember the name of this boss. I think I should. This is two. And. This is three. Oh, he died. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so this is the last stage in the game. Better do some precise navigation here. Well, it's not that precise. There's a small fight here. Have to fight three guys first. And then we will burn our special attacks. You see, sometimes you grab them. It's not that good because it takes a lot of a lot more to despawn the guys. The enemies after you after you throw them like that. Okay, so the jump so I don't lose that much movement speed. And that was that was decent. Okay, 6-2. This is another gatekeeper. The thing is, the jumps after this fight, so we ha we're, doing, we're doing the same here, so for all the stutters. <laughs> we're fighting three guys. That was good. Now we're fighting this one. And doing that. Perfect. That was really nice. Okay. Three, four, five. Oh! What am I doing? Okay, that's not good. Alright, got it. So this is the shortest stage in the game. Or section in the game. I lost a couple PVs to this part. I couldn't believe it. But it happened. And here comes my favorite song in the game, this one. Beautiful 7. Eight song. This, this is just the same, just more guys. We're going to save the um, special attacks for the boss, for the actual boss, who's hiding in the shadows down there. We call it, we call him the um, Diaper Genie. Okay. 
a specific setup for this, so to listen to the music. Oh well, that was that was unfortunate. I was supposed to do a, a reverse kick there, but n never mind. One, one, two. And let's stun lock him, and that's time. Oh, fourteen fifty-one. That's not bad. A shame I couldn't kill the. Um, boss properly. But here comes the best part of the game. Look at this. We have Jimmy Carter here. Game is now over and you are victorious. Today three teams will play an exciting game. The action is real, not only from TV. <laughs> I don't know what they meant but okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the GG's guys, and thank you, thank you very much RGL for the for the event. Really love it. I might have been really off with that estimate. I will keep it in mind for the events. <laughs> so next we have Spartan X2 with Avalonith. Good luck to Avalonith and. Thank you very much again for for joining us. Keep watching and keep enjoying the event. Have a great night.